I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news. The good news is I've found Glover. And the bad? The bad news is he's dead. Murdered. Indeed. Did you discover who killed him? Not yet. Then why are you wasting my time? Find me Glover's killer. I need the name of the man who crossed me, Mr. Reed, if I'm to make an example. I know who is behind Professor Doe's kidnapping. It's an organization called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Most of them stick to the fish market, but they seem to have agents everywhere. Even the university. I knew there was something fishy about the EOD. The den of those filthy innsmouthers. I'll tear it to the ground. Are you using this as an opportunity to make an example of the Innsmouthers? Because most of the EOD members I've met were locals, and for what it's worth, the only Innsmouther I spoke to was a nice guy. You want to examine your prejudice. Are you calling me a bigot, Reed? Robert, listen. Something needs to change. You holding a grudge against Innsmouthers ain't making anything better for anyone. Those who fan the flames of hatred always end up burnt in the end. They killed my son for Kay's sake! I know. But what did you do to prevent it? You made yourself their enemy instead of helping them. What did you expect would happen? You chose to brand them newcomers and leave them to suffer just like you did with me. The only difference is that I'm useful to you. No wonder desperate Innsmouthers would seek refuge from a radical organization like the EOD. They had nowhere else to turn. I... shall think about what you've said. <sighs> Back to business. I'll continue my search for Professor Dow. I have a promising lead. You have anything else to tell me? Your task remains the same. Find Harriet and bring her back. You say we are dealing with an entire organization? Well, I have something for you that might help our cause should things take a turn. Now leave. I've heard enough from you.
seems after visiting Dr. Grant, the shop owner preferred to self-medicate. Seems after visiting Dr. Grant, the shop owner preferred to self medic Those bloodstains would definitely attract wild beasts. I don't think he's going to tell me much about those monsters.
slime stinks even worse than the bodies. since this food was cooked. in the bodies. Ugh. Weeks have passed since this food was cooked. Go to work. Why can't you understand that? <laughs> Time to figure this out. I have to go to work. Why can't you understand that? I have to go to work. Why can't you understand that? Liz! John! You... What is happening to me? I have to go to work. This, John, you. Oh, oh, what is happening to me? The beast crawled from the sunken basement at night and infected the family. After a short incubation period, they turned into monsters too.
I checked the house of the diseased man, Bells. His family has turned into those creatures, too. Huh. Fascinating. Did you discover the source of the contamination? A creature emerged from their sunken basement and transformed them. I think its vomit is contagious. Hmm. If so, we must quarantine it. Those Lethean revenants are a huge threat. This city could not survive an epidemic like that. What did you call them? Uh, Lethean revenants. Oh, you may thank the university professor for the beast's unwieldy names. I called into the shop of your patient. Unfortunately, he committed suicide. Oh, I wish I could say I was surprised. Sorry for wasting your time. Uh, it wasn't entirely a waste. I found some evidence that sheds light on the origin of those creatures. Uh, for what it's worth, Professor Westerbrook calls them Stygian Harvesters. But uh, what is it you found? Your patient's diary. His dreams became too real, too confronting. He tried to stay awake using stimulants, but those Stygians appeared near him when he slept, as if they were leaking from his nightmares. Hmm. A psychic phenomenon? Or manifestation? How unnerving. I'm afraid he's not the only one suffering from such dreams. I found your studies rather interesting, Dr. Grant. You got more places to search? What dedication. Thank you. Your findings have been a rich resource for the scientific cause. I've got two more places for you. More dangerous, one with huge monstrosities, but I'll prepare a comparable reward. Just what am I getting myself into? One of Oakmont's largest stores was closed after the flood hit. A looter tried to break in, but his thievery was, shall we say, interrupted. He was set upon by a huge wild beast and hardly made it out. The question is, with the building locked up tight, how did that creature get in? Oh, what about the place with more manageable creatures? Well, there's a restaurant here with a bad reputation, not for its food, but for women disappearing. The police found nothing. I treated the partner of one missing girl. He arrived here severely injured and told me about the jumping maws. He was at the restaurant too, I suppose. Indeed. And what's curious is the place is still open. Please investigate and find out how that's possible. Bye.
What's your problem? is still fresh. These aren't your typical kitchen utensils. I don't think the health inspector will be pleased. My esteemed patrons, <laughs> presenting my latest delicacy. Ah, don't be greedy. Don't hurry to eat, please. You'll always be my most well-regarded clients. <laughs>
This putrid slime is everywhere. I'll take a sample for Dr. Grant to examine. Those bags stink worse than a barrel of rotten fish. Or... Fisk. Whatever. Before the neighbors see us. Are those the last ones? I did everything you asked, yeah? So when will my initiation begin? Okay, let's see what we have here. Quick, bring them in before the neighbors see us. I did everything you asked, yeah? So when will my initiation begin? Yeah. <laughs> Members of a cult were disposing of bodies in the basement of the shop. The corpses merged together to form a huge monstrosity. I visited that old shop you mentioned and found a few things you may be interested in. Even took a sample for studying. What did you discover? I was sure a huge creature could not have wandered inside unnoticed. The cult of the Fecund Mother was dumping corpses of their victims in the shop's basement. Hmm. Professor Westerbrook's research does suggest the Acheronians are attracted to dead bodies. No. This one formed from the corpses themselves. There was a putrid slime on everything. Maybe that's the cause of this unnatural rebirth. You said you took a sample of it. But I can conduct some experiments on rats. If your theory holds true, what a marvelous discovery. I paid a visit to that awful restaurant. I'd call it a den of evil, but that would be an understatement. Good grief. What happened? Uh, the cook was mad, a cannibal, and fed those jumping monstrosities on human flesh. He called them patrons. That restaurant was a destination for Oakmont's elite, many of whom disappeared shortly after the flood. I think we now know why. Are you suggesting that it was cannibalism that caused such a horrific transformation? These days, alas, cannibalism is not so rare. Could it be? That all the Cositians, as Westerbrook calls them, were once men? We've discovered a lot of disturbing information about the wild beasts. What are you gonna do with it? Well, I've already contacted the university. We'll cooperate to further study these phenomena. And the facts must be reported to the authorities. They need to know what they're dealing with. You're perfectly right. 
When we have documented our results and conducted a standard peer review process, the proper measures will be taken. <laughs> documented results, peer review. Uh, how many innocents will die in the meantime? Our recommendations must be clear and based on valid reasoning, or it's worthless. Good science takes time, my friend. Bye. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister.
Hey, knock it off. 